Before the day begins, before your routine goes crazy, before all other things <coughs> take you away into the day that God has made, it's often hard to find the time to spend the time that you should spend with God. That's why you have to choose to meet with God. You have to redeem the time. You have to purchase it. You have to make the extra effort, so to speak, to try to get up a little earlier to maybe make that extra discipline, that extra challenge. But when you do that, you see, it's easy to make a discipline out of something that you're in a hurry because then you just rush through it. God doesn't want you to run off, as it were, thinking that you have all that you need for the day. You know, God would prefer that you got yourself together and was actually sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the time with Him than to hurry and rush through getting ready for work, getting ready for the children, getting this together, getting that together, running off like a soccer mom, running off like a soccer dad, doing this, doing that, running here, running there, being everywhere, except where God might want you to be still and knowing He is Lord. Having a Father in Heaven, He knows what we need before we even ask it. He knows what's going to happen before it ever occurs. I don't know about you. I only know that as sure as the sun rises and casts its golden glow across the world in the morning or shines his rays through the clouds of the troubles that may come, I know that God has in store and has prepared the day for what he would will rather than what I would will. When I listen to the turtle doves, when I listen to the crickets, when I listen to the frogs, when I see the hummingbirds come, when I listen to the song of the morning, when I hear the voice of rejoicing, I know my God is in control. And as long as God is alive, as long as He is real, as long as I know that I'm His and He is mine, I have no fear for what the day may bring. As a matter of fact, I have a joy for the anticipation of what God may do today as opposed to what I may do if I step out of His way. Because it's easy for me to run off and do my own thing every day. But when I take the time to kind of wake up, kind of sit still, listen, God has something always unique and special for me to see that I would not have noticed had I not been still and let Him direct the attention of my spirit today as opposed to what my flesh wants to think, to speak, and to say. Enjoy whatever you're doing. And there you shall eat before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice in all that you put your hand to, you and your household in which the Lord your God has blessed you. Deuteronomy 12.7 I used to hate waiting in the airport, but Dave always wanted to arrive early. I finally changed my mind. It is amazing what happens when you decide to enjoy God every day. It is easy to get so caught up in all your responsibilities that you forget to enjoy what you're doing. You know, I have to hurry up and get there so that I can enjoy it. And then I have to hurry up and get done with it so that I can get on with what I need to do next. You know, one step after the other, rushing to here, to there, to do what you think it is that you need to get done. After all, you only have so much time. You can get so busy raising your children that you forget to enjoy them. You can get so caught up in cleaning your house, trying to pay for it and remodeling it, that you forget to enjoy it. But you can learn to enjoy God so much that no matter what you do today, you can truly say, 
I enjoyed it. <laughs> what a reality check, isn't it? Wouldn't you rather enjoy the day than to just say, rejoice in the Lord always, or to say, rejoice in the day that the Lord has made? I would rather say, hey, man, you know what? Yesterday was 100 degrees plus, and I enjoyed it because God was with me.